Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our suburban homestead. It is day 14 of our first batch of 12 eggs in the Matacoops incubator. That means we have only got one week left before we should see some baby chickens. If you remember last week, I took out one egg that was infertile. So we have 11 eggs that we're going to candle today to see if we continue to get good growth and development inside of those. Now, what I expect to see is a lot darker egg, a lot less space uh, with translucent fluid. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder to tell detail on week two. Um, but let's see if we're getting that growth. Maybe we'll catch a little bit of movement. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, I went ahead and removed our egg trays. Uh, we're set up and ready to go. We're going to start with this one. Um, this is the one that uh, we had to take the infer leg out of last time. Great, so let's go ahead and see what we have. Let's get in close there. All of this space here uh, is now dark. We just have a little bit of light down here at the bottom. Uh, that's where uh, the air sac is. Uh, you see some veins right around in here. Uh, that's a large vein there. A um, little bit of movement in that egg, so that chick is growing. Everything looks good. This is what to expect from week two of your candling. Uh, a lot different than what you saw week one. Okay, egg number two. A lot of the same. Uh, got some veins running through there. That's a great sign. Hard to see anything else except for that air pocket. So that means our chick is growing. It's healthy. That's what we want to see. It's a lot less exciting when you candle your eggs on the uh, second week because you don't see as much, but that's what you want to see. You want to see very little um, space in that egg. You want to see that that chick is growing and filling that space up. As long as we see some veins running through there, uh, especially if we can see some movement, that's great. Uh, but this is looking just like it should. Very hard to see through. A little bit of movement. Yep, there's, there's some movement. I see some legs kicking around. Perfect. Alright, so that's trade number one. That went a lot quicker this week than it did last week. Trade number one, everything looks good. This one, uh, we got more space here, visible space here, than we have had in the other ones. But we see these, see the vein, you see the movement. So even though we got a little more space, it is moving. It's lively. Checking around in there, pretty good. All right, so now, save the best for last, we have our waxed egg um, that I sealed because it had a crack. Now, this was the one I was worried about last time because it had a dark ring in there. I think it was just the, the vessels. I don't think um, anything had happened to the embryo at that point. Uh, we went ahead and put it back in here to be safe and see, so this is the one now to watch. Um, all the rest of them look good. If this one is good, we will be batting a thousand. Alright, this one has definitely been growing. Definitely been growing since last time. So, um, nothing for us to have worried about. It looks like there's some movement in here. Yep, there we go. There we go, there's some movement. That's what I wanted to see. So, out of the 11 eggs that we candled this week on week number two 
all 11 still seem to be viable they're growing um, and I don't see any reason why they shouldn't continue to grow and hatch however we still have a week to go and just because they're growing does not mean they're going to make it out of the shell right, so let's put these back in so they don't get any colder than they need to be we are done candling for this week all right that's it all 11 look fantastic great growth and development inside the eggs good movement so that means in seven days we should have a pretty good hatch day so i'm really looking forward to it make sure you like subscribe follow us so that you can see what happens just seven days left before we get some baby chicks we'll see you next time